Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I got a pretty bizarre motor tonight to show you guys. Um, thought about this idea for quite a while and I finally just built it. And um, so if you look down here, I have a U-shaped ferrite and um, the coil wound in the middle and then obviously two rotors. These are straight off my Bedini motor there in the back. But um, in order to make this work, um, one has to be north one has to be south, so it's kind of neat. Um, so we could just test these, Let's see which one is. So this is north, and this is south. So on my Bedini motor, this is north. It's a north pole motor. So kind of cool to check it like that. And um, on this one, there's no Bedini circuit at the moment, and uh, all I have is all optics. So this is all optic motor, and then this is my little. Uh, MOSFET circuit and um, I have these available on my website. They work really well. Um, you could do 12, 24 volts on it and um, right around 10 amps max but um, everything's on there ready to go and um, just need a pulse width modulator. Uh, tonight I'm using RD3DPs and um, yeah. So what we have going on is these are 12 volt batteries. They're just in parallel at the moment. So uh, run batteries 13.0 and then our charge batteries, which is the same, they're both in parallel, is 12.6. So input comes into the circuit, goes through the coils. Um, this is actually three strand um, in the coil, so we have three. And then um, obviously the optics comes out right here, and then our PWM. And our output, just like on every single one of my videos, is um, yellow and white. So the output of the motor so every time it's turned on and off um, it's making about four to five hundred volts and that's getting collected and then it goes into this little filter cap that I made and then we'll be able to see the voltage of it right here and then we'll be able to see the amperage that's charging and the amperage that's running so pretty neat. and then we'll be able to see um, how it runs on the scope obviously so uh, let's um, fire this up and um, it's in repulsion, so you know you give it enough power, it just kind of kicks itself over. And um, we'll start it off here at full speed, which is pretty much right at one amp, which is maxed out for my meters here. So that's full. So let's back off. So um, with the filter cap, these are all lithium iron phosphate batteries, so you can kind of see. Um, how it's going here. So we go to 800 milliamps. Um, we're just over 50% efficiency on energy return. The motor's just purring along. And then as we turn it down, we're going to get more pulse width and uh, kind of see what's going. So if we get right around. 200 milliamps. Uh, we're about 80% efficient, which is pretty nice. And then here's our voltage on the on this. So this is actually higher than our run battery at the moment. And uh, yeah, pretty cool little motor. It just purrs right along. But um, you get some really good results just just tuning these pulse widths. You know. So here's our in. Here's our out. So these could get up to about 95% efficient on the output alone. So pretty neat. So it just depends on how much load, how much pulse width, and your tuning. But um, yeah, pretty neat. So let's put it up at half an amp. So half an amp. Well, it's kind of fluctuating around. Let's see. Get this little little cleaner. So. We'll say 300 divided by 5. So that's 60% right there, just cruising along. And if you give more pulse width, you get more and more efficiency. And then if you turn off, take off the prop, you'll get actually better. But yeah, pretty cool. So when you're at like, we'll say 80%, you're 80% input power, you're about 50% energy return. 
So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out my store.